In England once there lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. Uh, Dirty Beasts came about because um, Nicholas Clearbury and the group Aquarius, back in 1988, decided to uh, commission me to write something for the Canterbury Festival. Um, and they specifically asked if I'd considered doing something by Roald Dahl because he was local, alive then, of course, um, local to Canterbury. And they uh, suggested Dirty Beasts to me. And I chose three, the, the, uh, the pig, the crocodile and the tummy beast, simply because those are three, those are the three beasts in the collection who um, eat things. What I try to do is follow um, Roald Dahl's lead, really, because um, although it's a piece, in a way, for children to enjoy, in the same way that they enjoy Roald Dahl's verse, Dahl doesn't make any compromises with language. It's quite sophisticated verse, um, with big, long words and quite um, uh, difficult concepts sometimes. Um, so I didn't feel I needed to write, well, I wasn't writing for children to play this thing or narrate this thing, uh, but to listen to it. Um, so I try to reflect, the, the, you know, the grotesque qualities of the verse, the, um, the bizarre humour, the, the slight melodrama in some of the situations, um, um, and of course the humour. <laughs> My performing and um, composition activities are constantly um, cross-fertilizing with each other. I mean, I find it in, very stimulating to be a performer, for example, in the, the band Note in the Gal, um, which I am currently. So we do a lot of improvising and playing with very, very, very good musicians on a regular basis. Um, absolutely gives me loads and loads of ideas for compositions. Um, and in fact, the, one of the pieces on the CD is um, some preludes that I wrote in response to my own improvisations with the, with the band. And then I compose them more strictly, I suppose, and more set them in, in stone a bit more than the original improvisations. But yeah, performing and composing just are almost the same thing in some, in some ways. It's been absolutely fantastic to work with the uh, New London Chamber Ensemble um, and also members of the Navarra Quartet. Um, I've worked with them several times before in different contexts and they commissioned the um, nonet that's on the CD. Um, they're wonderful musicians, easy to work with, um, easy to get on with, completely understand what I'm trying to do as a composer. And don't give me any grief in that way. And I hope I don't give them any grief either. Although I've given them plenty of challenges, <laughs> unintentionally sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> 